Hi, this is Dr. Tony Cooper. Just a reminder, this is not a substitute for medication or counseling. If you're having thoughts of harming yourself or another person, or if this material triggers you in any way, please contact your doctor or a mental health specialist for your concerns. You can find my books on Amazon, my videos are on YouTube, or you can listen to my podcast, Life Without Baggage, on your favorite platform. Now here is an excerpt from a popular podcast episode. At the end of many of my podcasts, I pray a blessing from Isaiah 11.2. Isaiah 11.2 is interesting because it lists, I guess, what are called attributes of the Holy Spirit, which are gifts available to us as we learn how to access our faith and our connection to God. These are the supernatural attributes or characteristics of the Holy Spirit, then we can learn how to flow in in our daily lives. May the Spirit of the Lord rest upon you, the Spirit of extraordinary wisdom, the Spirit of perfect understanding, the Spirit of wise strategy, of mighty power, of revelation, and the reverential awe of the Lord. The second attribute is the Spirit of wisdom. And that means the spirit of wisdom gives us the ability to clarify the complex. It's creative battle tactics to determine the best means to the best end. So if you want more creativity, whether it's artistic or in business or to, um, to make an invention, then you want to ask God to increase that spirit of wisdom, your ability to operate in a spirit of wisdom. It's related to effective administration and effective time management as well. Next is the spirit of wise strategy or counsel. And that means to instruct, to guide, to exhort, to come alongside. Um, These are strategies that help us in peace, and also may help us if we're in a battle, if we're in some kind of a personal battle. We can ask God for that spirit of counsel or wise strategy. And again, this is one of the things I pray for when I go to work. I ask God for supernatural strategies for the problems that people come in with. Next is the spirit of knowledge or revelation. And this is related to A supernatural understanding of the attributes of God, the plans of God, our ability to receive and communicate spiritual insight, knowledge also that can be gained by the senses or technical knowledge. So there's a couple of interesting things in here. So in terms of spiritual insight, if you ask the Holy Spirit to give you revelation knowledge when you go to open the Bible. He will help you understand what you're reading. And it helps us put the pieces together and just get a a grasp beyond our intellectual abilities to see how God thinks, how God does things, and to understand in a particular situation what God is doing. We may feel confused. We may feel lost. And there are times I ask the Lord to show me, you know, what do I need to see here? What What's going on? And sometimes other people can see things that we can't. Uh, so let me give you another example of this. So recently someone was describing to me some different changes that had happened. And these changes were in a variety of areas. And all of them, I believe, were unwanted. And uh, I was asking the Lord as I was listening, Lord, what is going on here? And sometimes the Lord will give me a question. I just sense it. A question will pop into my head to ask them that will bring clarity to what's happening and maybe something they need to do differently. Other times, an idea or a concept will just kind of arrive or get downloaded into my heart and mind. I would call it my spirit. And I just kind of know God is shifting the pieces around on the chessboard. You're not doing anything wrong, but he is making these transitions and he's refocusing you. So this is okay. Just try to hang in there and keep doing what you know is right. So those are examples 
of the spirit of knowledge. And God wants you to flow in that spirit of knowledge. He wants you to understand him, just like he longs for a deeper connection with you. It's a relationship. It's not just a set of facts or proper beliefs. God sent Jesus so you could have relationship. And so if there's something you're trying to learn, you can ask God to give you that spirit of knowledge so that you master and excel in the field that you have chosen. So there are times I've asked God to increase my hunger and thirst for him. And the more that our spirit, the more that our we allow our minds and our hearts to be saturated with the word of God, with the spirit of God, with the presence of God, then we will see more of our natural gifts and our spiritual gifts become more effective and powerful. We'll, we'll see more fruit in our prayers and in our character because the power for change, the power for supernatural living and peace, it comes from cultivating that connection with God. So, so how do we use this? Well, I mentioned we can ask for more of particular attributes of the Holy Spirit, of these characteristics listed in this verse. We can pray this verse for other people. I mentioned also that the more that we abide in the presence of God, take time to read the Bible, to let his thoughts into our hearts and minds. It's good to pray, but prayer is not a substitute for listening. And when we pray, we're just going to repeat our thoughts, but we're not giving God a chance to give us his thoughts. So it's really important that you take even a little bit of time to begin to seek God through reading the Bible. But we are transformed and we are accessing more and more of him. And the best of us comes forth as we learn to abide in the Lord and in the power of his Holy Spirit. My first three podcasts here on Life Without Baggage were on how to grow spiritually, how to access more of the peace and rest of God, and how to cultivate your spiritual life. So you can go back and listen to those if you haven't caught those already. You can find my books on Amazon. And if you go to my website, drtonycooper.com, I'm also giving away a free digital book So this was the first in my series on gifts from heaven. Let me close with a blessing for you again from Isaiah 11 2. May the spirit of the Lord rest upon you, the spirit of extraordinary wisdom, the spirit of perfect understanding, the spirit of wise strategy, of mighty power, of revelation, and the reverential awe of the Lord. This is Dr. Tony Cooper. And this was Life Without Baggage. Thanks for listening.